Minister Landsberg is once again welcome to uh, Jakarta. It's really an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia. And as I mentioned to you in the meeting, this year marks the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relation between Indonesia and Lithuania. And we, we need to make full use of this momentum to carry our relation uh, forward. Colleagues from the media, Lithuania and Indonesia are geographically far away, but we share a commitment to fundamental values of democracy, peace, and sustainable development. In our meeting just now, I highlighted three important areas of cooperation. First, on trade cooperation. In the first half of this year, the bilateral trade rose almost 43% percent year on year. However, our bilateral trade volume has not reflected its true potential. To bolster our two-way trade and to ensure a more balanced trade, I sought Minister Landsberghis to support in facilitating more Indonesian products to enter Lithuanian market, including for rubber, paper, and wood-based furniture. And I welcome Indonesian palm oil becoming one of the top export commodities to Lithuania. With nearly 800 plantations in Indonesia already receiving ISPO certification, I believe that Indonesia can provide more sustainable palm oil to Lithuania and to greater European market. In this effort to force closer B2B engagement, I welcome the planned MOU signing between Kadin, Indonesia Chamber of Commerce, and the Confederation of Lithuanian Industries this uh, afternoon. Second, on investment partnership, I appreciate Lithuanian aviation industries' expanded investment in Bali Ngurah Rai Airport and their new charter airlines and freight, uh, freight uh, services. And third, on education and IT cooperation. Our focus should be to enhance university-to-university -university cooperation through joint research and double degree programs. This year, Indonesia has also reopened the Dharma Siswa Scholarship for Lithuanian students, and there are already 73 Lithuanian alumni from this Dharma Siswa Scholarship. We also discussed the possible cooperation in one of the areas of Lithuanian excellence, that is the IT sector. And I encourage stronger cooperation to develop IT system for land and air transportation, as well as to strengthen cybersecurity partnership through capacity building. Colleagues from the media, aside from the bilateral issues, I also discuss together uh, <clears throat> with the minister on the regular and global issue. And I welcome Lithuanian Indo-Pacific strategy that highlights Lithuania enhanced commitment to develop stronger partnership with the region. And to develop more concrete cooperation, I underline the importance to build synergy with ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. We also exchange views on the deteriorating situation in Gaza. I reach out to Lithuania to join the call in urging for the immediate cessation of indiscriminate against attacks against civilians and to ensure a sustained, safe, and unimpeded humanitarian assistance. Colleagues, in three weeks, more than 7,000 people killed in Gaza. 68% are women and children. Is this number not enough to stop the killing and start an immediate, durable, and sustained humanitarian truce leading to a cessation of hostilities? All of us must defend justice and humanity, and the illegal occupation of Israel on Palestinian land must be ended based on internationally agreed parameters. 
And my last point, thank you very much for Lithuanian support for the intention of Indonesia to join OECD. So that is all from me, and now I would like to invite Minister Lance Berges to share his views. Please. Thank you so much. Minister Ritno Marsudi, I thank you for hosting us in, in Jakarta today. I'm really pleased to visit Indonesia as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of our bilateral relations. Well, I'm thankful to all who contributed to strengthening our bilateral I'd like to thank the Honorary Consul, Mr. Kadarisman, and his team. Both of our countries rely on the rules-based international order to ensure security and prosperity of our people. The order is being challenged across the world, and whether it is Russia's blatant aggression against Ukraine or fighting in the Middle East or another future crisis, every breakdown of international order does us a harm and affects us all. The world's trust in Indonesia's commitment to international institutions was more than fulfilled through the successful G20 chairmanship in 2022, followed by another important task of steering ASEAN this year. As both of our countries believe in democratic free market policies, Lithuania strongly supports your bid for membership in the OECD and is ready to share our own recent accession experience. We also had a great opportunity to talk about our growing economic ties in such sectors as IT, LNG and renewable energy, agriculture and even space technology. Both of our countries share interests in diversifying supply chains, strengthening cybersecurity and increasing our resilience to hybrid threats. And I'm sure that new impetus for our economic relations will be given by our business organizations that are going to sign a cooperation agreement later today at Katyn. Lithuania supports EU-Indonesia negotiations on the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, the conclusion of which is, in our, strong, is our strong mutual interest. We also welcome a successful cooperation among our universities. Indonesia's participation in Erasmus Plus program and agreed it could be even further expanded. And since Lithuania is the land of basketball, we could not leave Jakarta without laying the foundation for Indonesia to master this great game as well. First ever agreement between our basketball federation will also be signed today. With this, let me thank you once again for your hospitality. We're really happy to have such a reliable friend as Indonesia, and I believe that this partnership will continue to prosper. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you.